Nice. Me and Falgun, because Falgun's here, you, we might be, you might be able to come around my house one day and just record a video for YouTube, as in me just going, hi guys, welcome to our channel and stuff like that. Yes, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was wondering what kind of video you were No, <laughs> it's going on YouTube. It's Let's going make on a YouTube. sex tape. <laughs> that one's for the YouTube, yeah. and then the yeah. other one, that's later oh, on. Yeah. yeah, we wear masks for that one so no one can identify us. <laughs> if I win more than 100 million, uh, I'll give you a million each, okay? Okay. Really? Yeah. Oh, thank you. So that's nice, but also slightly offended that I only get a million. <laughs> and not Would you still do the podcast? Would you still do the podcast, Fabian? Yeah, my charity work there. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello, hola, namaskar, konnichiwa, bonjour, and welcome to episode four of the Ready Steady Chat podcast. Join us this week as we chit chat about some of the funniest, weirdest, and biggest news stories of the past week followed by our very own in-house creation, produced by none other than Mr. Ben Sully himself. Let's play a game. And finishing up with another peeve of the week. Yeah, so this week, I'm starting with a sensational story that was trending on Twitter last week, was the rumor or the conspiracy theory that the Art Attack presenter, Neil Buchanan, is Banksy himself. There was um, rumours, I think it started on Twitter, just someone basically suggested that they had figured out who Banksy was and was suggesting that Neil Buchanan, the guy who used to present Art Attack in the I think, late 90s, early 2000s, I remember watching it as a kid, was in fact Banksy himself. Although, we'll probably have to say for legal reasons, don't want to be, don't want to be persecuted. Or... So apparently on his website, he said, we have been inundated with inquiries over the weekend regarding <laughs> the current social media story. Unfortunately, this website does not have the infrastructure to answer all these inquiries. However, we confirm there is no truth in the rumor. I'm what? starting to think that is exactly what Banksy would say. Yes, exactly. exactly. My thoughts that's, exactly. That's what Banksy has claimed for the past however many years. I think it's amazing, if I'm honest. Imagine that. You know, effectively, he was using Art Attack as like a dress rehearsal for his, <laughs> kind of, <laughs> his big projects. When he used to do the street art and that on the programme. Uh, there was a sculpture released in Bristol, but no one knows who, who it was, but it was for suicide awareness. Oh, I saw that. It was quite cool, actually. Oh, it? I saw that, yeah. That was actually, yeah. Uh, that was actually cool. So maybe, maybe, maybe that is Banksy as well. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's just paper I'm, magic. I'm, I refuse to believe anyone else now is Banksy. I just I think it's amazing. Just sat there as a kid watching it. It was a brilliant program back in the day. Yeah, <laughs> sat there as a kid. I'm definitely having that he is Banksy. I oh, just it's just amazing. And it never just, it was just the amount of resources he had that was it just blew my mind. Yeah. So yeah. everything you could possibly imagine, he this man had. I think it's just oh, I. I just think it would be amazing that the person who's who's evaded everyone over a number of years was basically <laughs> presenting kids' TV shows back in the early 2000s, late 90s. I just think that's amazing. He, he, used to, he was basically doing it as a hobby, wasn't he? Just coming in and presenting this show. <laughs> and he would always say, like, he'd, he'd go halfway through something and go, oh, here's one I made earlier. Yeah. Remember that? <laughs> yeah. Of course you did, because you're about to do it on the street at that, 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 that <laughs> evening, <laughs> on the night before. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I'm, I'm definitely buying into that. Falgan, what have you got for us this week? Oh well, my story is about a man stealing a massive dildo from a sex shop. Brilliant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, now the the size of this thing, it's a three foot forty pound dildo. Yeah. And to steal it, he had to carry it on his shoulder out the door. And he's on video doing it. So what did you but... say when the police caught you, Fargan? <laughs> <laughs> so basically, this guy, what did he do? Was it during the night? You kind of just walked into the shop and went, hang about, I'm taking this. No, oh, there's a video of him. Uh, yeah. So it's daytime. He walks through the door. It's not like he planned it. He just walks by the dildo at first, looks at it, then walks back, carries it on his shoulder and walks out the door, basically. <laughs> 
<laughs> he's, <laughs> he's got some huge balls. I'll give him that. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine trying to carry that in your pocket. <laughs> yeah. I just like the fact yeah. he's obviously walked past this and gone, hang about. Yeah, I, like, I like the look of this. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be a Apple, lovely addition it, to my collection. He, he, he just looks at the price and goes, no, nah, I'm not paying that. On my shoulder, <laughs> out the door. Yeah, it's a $1,250. Yeah, you don't want to be paid for that. Get it straight extortion. out of the car. That's extortion. Way too expensive for a dildo. Could be. You could can be, imagine, you could be can selling imagine the shop phoning up, though. Though, mm-hmm. couldn't you? The shop, the shop phoning up the police. I'm sorry, I'm reporting a theft. What's been stolen? Well, you won't believe it. <laughs> only, 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 only stolen a free foot. They would know. <laughs> you promise not to laugh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then the police having to turn up and ask for a description of it as well. Yeah, the police will say, you know what? Let's rock out with the dildo patrol and we'll track it down. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we have a special task force for these moments. <laughs> Years of training have gone into this. <laughs> oh, we were anticipating this moment would arise. <laughs> Let's call in the expert, Ben Sully. He'll know everything about it. Also, imagine as well, this guy goes home, he might have a wife, and, they, and, his, and his missus walks in from work, and she, she sits down, she looks in the corner and goes, that wasn't there this morning. <laughs> What's my dude hey, doing hey, downstairs? Do you, do you, yeah, you, do you say she hey, sits do down you on it? Do you no, say she oh, sits no, down no, on no, it? No, 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 no. Oh dear, oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> before, like, this, before this conversation just transpires into something absolutely not okay and appropriate for this podcast, I think I should butt oh, in no, with my fam- story. Family friendly. <laughs> yeah, go on. <laughs> Um, so I was reading how a lady uh, left left her baby inside Where? a tube. So it was on a Peckham train. It was a train going from, I think, Victoria to Dartford. Yeah. And and she got up and never forgot her pram, and inside the pram had her baby. <laughs> so she, so the the train went forward and the baby got pulled off at the next stop. And the mum had to come back and collect uh, collect her. Did time. she like realise as like <laughs> soon as she got off, or did she like get out of the train station and then was like, hang about? It I swear I had something else to do. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't quite say. <laughs> or or just like, or it's just you, like a, this poor lady like turning back as she realises the train starts moving away. It, it might be that, but, but then who, like, which mum would think, oh, okay, first I'll get off, and then I'll pull my pram off. Oh, we've <laughs> all forgotten things. Don't oh. be that <laughs> oh, So, so now you looked at the story and went, oh, that's funny. A kid's been lost. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, it's, just, it's just the way it's written. It goes, the unaccompanied child, unaccompanied mm. child, was helped off the train at the next stop. <laughs> by station colleagues while the mother travelled on the next service to collect the child. Oh. At least someone realised they weren't, didn't just go up to the baby and go, what stopped you getting off? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe, oh yeah maybe, the, maybe the baby fell asleep and just forgot to get off. Or unless that's happened before and they're like, Char- oh, here we go. Character building. Character but it's the worst. Building. Like It's the worst. Um, especially when, like, when, you were, when you were younger, you've got left behind at the till. Your mum and dad has gone off to grab something else from from the store. And you're just stood there. You? Huh? Is that what they told you? Some haunting memories. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> just you running after the car. Because <laughs> <laughs> that, ha- that hasn't happened to me. Has it happened to you? <laughs> no, no, never. No. My parents yeah. cared about me. Yeah. Just never been shopping <laughs> as children, did you? <laughs> To be fair, you're saying it's a baby. The baby hasn't got a clue. The, baby, the baby's not going to be traumatised by that experience. Yeah, well, maybe like when, <laughs> when they grow up and find out that... Yeah, they read the story. They accidentally got left behind. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah. would we like to play a game? Yes, we would love to play a game. Let's play a game. Yes. We were worried the pod would be tame. So I said, why don't we play a game? So now my game 
needs a name. So I decided to call it Let's Play a Game. Let's play a game. So welcome to Let's Play a Game. This week, the game is Where in the World? Yes, we had success with Sausage and Ola Sausage, and maybe it's because I'm a Londoner, and today we're going to play Where in the World. Um, I think Sanal's leading this series. Sanal gets a choice of whether he goes first or second. Sanal. I would like to go second, please. You would like to go second, okay. So the rules of this game are four questions each. Um, I will name, uh, give you a name of a place or a city or a town, and you have got to tell me what country that place is in. Uh, I'll give you three options because I'd like to at least give a little bit of help in hand. So, Falgun. Yeah. The first one for you is Alexandria. Is it in Egypt, Mozambique, or Pakistan? Egypt. You're saying Egypt? Yes. You would be correct, Mr. Matt Lear. Yeah, e easy start for Falgun Malia. Gosh. Oh, <laughs> it's, just, it's just so salty, aren't you? <laughs> you got, you would have got. If you chose to go first, you would have got that. They're That's just in a very list. True. Yeah. yeah, I'm a, I'm a fair, I'm a fair host. You are, um, you are. Your one, so now is yeah. Rosar. <laughs> Thank you. Your one is Ros Rosario. Rosario. Yeah. Is it in Angola, Argentina, or Brazil? That is in Argentina. Because I think Messi used to play for them. Correct as well. Yeah. Or was Ooh, it Neil's boys? Bit, I don't background know. Background knowledge there as well, showing off. Oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Falgun, your one, your next one is Busan, and I don't know if I pronounced that right, so I do apologise. B U S A N. Is it in South, South Korea? Korea. J J oh, hang on. Uh, this is whoa, well too easy. whoa! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Not even letting the tension build. <laughs> because I watched the movie. <laughs> Train to Busan. What is move? It? Oh, Ooh, more it's a zombie. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Again, so much background knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> so now your next one is Kanpur. Is it in Bangladesh, India, or Brazil? Is it Kanpur? C A M P O R. K A N P U R. Kanpur. Bangladesh, India, or Brazil? Bangladesh. <clears throat> so now, what what country were you born in? India. <laughs> so that oh, is God. the place where Kanpur is. <laughs> yeah. it's, oh, no. it's obviously India. <laughs> oh no, that is embarrassing. <laughs> That's made my day. <laughs> <laughs> That's made this whole one so worth it. <laughs> Can we just say Sanal's lost the game and I've won? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even if he gets a rest right now, that's just it. He's oh, not coming no. back. That. That's terrible. <laughs> that's terrible. So, so took you one to Falgun after the, the first two questions each. The oh, next one is <laughs> the next one is Tash Kent. Tash Kent. It's spelled T A S H K E N T. Is it Falgun, mm. Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, or Turkmenistan? Can <laughs> you give me the options again? I will. Kazakhstan, who's best? Oh, hang about, hang about. <laughs> Pro pronunciation. I will repeat that. Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, or Turkmenistan? Uh, I'm gonna go Uzbekistan. Oh, he knows his, he knows his countries and he knows his places. It is Uzbekistan. Well done, Falgun. Free one to you. You need this one, so now to stay in the game. How did you even know that, Falgun? It was a guess. Oh. <laughs> he's just got Google up as he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> So, so now your third one is Campinas. It is spelled C-A-M-P-I-N-A-S. Is it in Brazil, Paraguay, or Ecuador? Uh, uh, Brazil, Paraguay, Ecuador. Yeah, they're, uh, they're the options. This is the one. So if I get this wrong... Yeah, if you get it wrong, Val uh, will win. Then we're playing for pride. Uh, I think for uh, Brazil, maybe? You are correct. Yes. Still, still in the in game. game. Still, still in the game. game. Still in the game. <laughs> so next one, Falgun, to win the game is Bogota. Is it in Uruguay, oh, Venezuela, or Colombia? Colombia. 
Well done, Falgood. You have won the game. Unreal. Yes. You can't moan at them because you would have got these ones if you went to um, first. I guess, but I don't know. I would have probably got number three wrong. It was all you the stance. Do... There's no all, way I would have guessed that. All playing for pride because if you do get this one right, it would mean you only lost because you got camp four wrong. So, is yeah. <laughs> your last one? Your last one, Sonal, for pride is Yerevan. <laughs> it is Yerevan. It is spelled Y E R E V A N. Is it in San Marino, Armenia, or Andorra? San Marino. It was Armenia or Andorra is the other one as well. Uh. I'm going to go Armenia. Armenia is correct. So the <laughs> final scores are 4 3. And the only no. reason now lost was because he got Canpo wrong. No. <laughs> Loser. So well done, Falcon. Another win for you. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so now it's never getting lit back in India ever again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> So oh, yeah. after another thrilling game of Let's Play a Game, please join us next week for another game. That was another successful game, I think, guys. Yeah, that was that awesome. Was good. I enjoyed that's, that one. That, that, that's made my day. <laughs> <laughs> I won, so I'm happy. So yeah. It's 2-2 two, it's two, two now, isn't it? I believe it's 2-2 two, two in the, in the, if we call it a series. Yeah, I believe it's 2-2. Two, 2-2, two. Two, two. okay. It's all to play for so, next week then. Exciting, it, exciting stuff. It is. Um, um, what have we got next so now? That brings us on to our peeve of the week. Oh, Following yeah, on from last week's success, uh, where we was, were right. talking about airlines and the whole flying experience, this week we're bringing it back, and we're talking about the whole dining experience as eating out at restaurants, and talking yeah. about our our number one peeves when when we eat out. So Ben, do you want to start? What's your what's your number one peeve? So this one kind of happened to me a couple of weeks ago when I was taking advantage of the eat out to help out. Scheme. Yeah, <laughs> it seems now now to be blamed for people. Um, getting coronavirus which is yeah. brilliant 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 from the government there. <laughs> excellent um, yeah plan. this one happened I, and it always happens to be fair you're eating your meal and you sat down eating it and you're halfway through and literally as you take a bite a waitress or a waiter comes over and says are you enjoying your meal and because you don't want to you, you have you feel like you have to say instantly yes it's fine you kind of got spewing half a mouthful of food as you're kind of replying back to them. It's just so awkward because you can't you can't just go hang on a minute it finishing this mouthful. I'll be with you in a second. You just actually got it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's just good customer service on their part. Yeah, but it's just awkward because it's always as I'm halfway through eating that I've got a mouthful of food in my mouth well, and I just what, go. What, what were you eating? Oh, this time I was having a f- nice full English breakfast. Oh, no. So halfway. So you had a mouth. sausage halfway yeah, shoved up yeah. your mouth. Uh, yeah, well, not shoved. I had a sausage. <laughs> I had a sausage in my mouth, and they come over and go, "Is your meal okay?" And you're like, "Meal is just You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's just so awkward, and it always happens. It always happens. And it also, even like Falcon said to me, that I don't. You never, even if it's bad, you don't go. Yeah, if I'll be honest, it's not the best. You just go, yeah, it's lovely. Oh, it's brilliant. Do you know what I mean? Proper British. <laughs> it's, 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 you just you never never negative. You might complain to everyone else you're with, but you're not going to be negative to them. But yeah, I get it. Don't get me wrong. It is good customer service, but it's just so awkward because you're always halfway through a mouthful of food. Yeah, it might, might be just unfortunate timing that. Every yeah, time they come and ask you. Every time. It seems to be every time. <laughs> what about you, Falcon? Yeah. Uh, I think mine would be, uh, you know, they sing, like the waiters sing happy birthday to you. <laughs> I hate that. I absolutely yeah. hate it. Like, is that every time you go, though? Is it no. Like, you know? <laughs> no. Well, we went like three weeks after my birthday once. Yeah. And my yeah. mum mentioned, oh, this is, uh, his birthday was like a month ago. Yeah. And they still like, came out and sang and all that. I was, I was sitting there looking like really an nice, idiot. Surely. That's yeah. surely nice. What my, the, everyone's looking at you. You can't yeah. sing because it's your birthday. Well, no, <laughs> like, what do you do? Yeah. What do you do? Do you just like stare at them? What, what do I do? Well, no, don't stare them out. Don't make them feel awkward <laughs> yeah. about it. Then what do I do? Do I do, continue do... eating like nothing's happening? No, don't do that either because that's just... <laughs> <laughs> then it's just people singing at you as you carry on your food. <laughs> <laughs> Did the whole restaurant get involved, Falcon? Did everyone get the, involved? There's always one table that's a bit, you know... Yeah. enthusiastic and start singing as well. <laughs> it, yeah. it, it, it's always awkward though when that happens and then it just gets to happy birthday and no one knows your names. It just goes silent <laughs> for that bit and everyone just carries on afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I see nothing wrong with that though, Falcon. Everyone's joining in. Everyone wants to have a bit of fun. They're trying oh, that's to. Be, that's because you're social, you, Ben. I'm not social. I'm extremely trying to give you social. birthday wishes. <laughs> yeah. How did you uh, react to that, Falcon? <laughs> uh, like I usually do, I started sweating heavily. <laughs> <laughs> Almost passed out. Uh, yeah, so the usual. <laughs> Did, you, did they have a cake or something? Like yeah, yeah they gave brownie. me like a, a tiny piece of like brownie or something, oh. uh, and that was it. That uh, was it. You sound disappointed. If you're like, what is this? <laughs> at least give me a proof, proper full size cake. Where, or where's the other half? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's quite good. I like that. I just like the fact of the, these people just coming out and sing up it, and you're just going, oh, for f**k's sake. <laughs> I just want to eat my food and go home. Yeah. yeah. Again, another perfect example of good customer service, which we just can't accept. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got? Right, there, now? Now? Yeah, for me, uh, for me, it's it's always like sitting with people or like watching people return their food. Okay. Yeah. I've only had it once. Where have I've you? Like witnessed it. <laughs> <laughs> we may have been there at that same time. Yeah. <laughs> oh yes, I remember this. I definitely remember this. Shout out to our good friend, Mr. Cupid. Yeah. Who may or may not be listening. He he won't be listening. I don't know. So he has other things to do. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I just I just couldn't muster up the courage to send back food if it's like slightly burnt or doesn't taste good. If it's raw, if it's raw, I'll call it out because. There's no way you could eat it, but if it's yeah, you, burnt... you, you can get like an uncooked chicken and just go, oh, I got, I'm just going to have to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get the returning food though. Like, I would do it. I, whenever someone does it, I always go, oh, they've got balls, you know. Yeah. I wish I could do it. Yeah. I mean, if your food's it... not good, you kind of, you're in your right to do it really you pay for i think it. it depends doesn't it you see you do see people that are just unreasonable like they'll they'll order a, a medium to rare steak and it'll come out medium <laughs> to rare and they'll go what is this yeah <laughs> do you know what i mean if, if obviously you've asked for something it comes out undercooked or you've asked for something that's not come with your meal then fair enough you can return it but i think if you're just being blatantly unreasonable um i don't know it's just not and it's just not in my nature as well you're just such a nice man, aren't you, Sano? Oh, I don't know. Like... <laughs> I'd like to think so. But... Yeah. <laughs> so if someone, like, say, I don't know, you ordered, you had, you had ordered a burger and chips, and they just brought you out a burger, no chips, would you say anything? I would, I would remind them. Yeah. I would, I would demand it. <laughs> Wait, where's my chips? <laughs> so, or you order a steak, well done, then it comes out medium rare. What would you say? Put that back in the oven? No, I will just eat it. I wouldn't. You just eat it. Yeah. Oh, you fast for it, medium rare, um, for well done or medium rare, whatever, and then you go and you're not gonna, you're just gonna accept it and go, well, that's what they're giving me. <laughs> yeah. You might, I, well, I, might I ask think, you that. Would, there, would, you? would you? Would you? I think I would. I think I would because otherwise, what, when they ask you what would you like your state done, you might as well just say, well, you decide. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you like. Yeah, because if you're not gonna change, you <laughs> What are you feeling today? I have yeah. that. <laughs> You know what? I'm not going to get you that. I'm going to get you something else. <laughs> so you just yeah. so you're not a complainer then, so that? Oh, I don't think I'd complain. No, I just uh, I I just don't have it in me. I just don't have it in me to like send food back. Plus, plus you'd have to wait longer as well. <laughs> All about efficiency for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking, hang on, I've got ten minutes on the park in me. I've got to get out of here. <laughs> I also think it depends where you go as well. If you're going to, if you're paying like for expensive food and you're paying 13, 14 quid for a meal, then I think you do expect something a bit better than like in the spoons or something. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's another that thing. Does, yeah. That does depend on it. If you're going out and paying 14 quid for a meal and, and you get that meal and it's not what you want, then you probably should actually be within your right to go hang about. Can yeah. I have, um, I've got to admit, I'm saying all this, I've never really returned food in my life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever had it when um, the dish, has been served wrong. So you've asked for one dish and they've come out with another. Yeah. Never yeah, had it. Yeah. I've seen it happen. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, I've had I mean, it. But it's um, funny because it, it's an awkward thing as well where you get where you go, sorry, and like, well, you haven't done anything wrong, but you like, sorry. And then the rate is like, sorry. And it's just not that exchange happening as you're sending the food back. <laughs> it happened to us, didn't it, Ben? The other day, five guys, I ate your burger, you ate mine. Aww. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. It did actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you think? When do you notice? Once you finished? After my first bite. <laughs> yeah, that was the awkward bit. I was like, I'm not having that. The fact, 
Falgo was looking at me. He wanted me to swap it back. And I'm like, well, I'm not having your bed. He's eating a bit of it. I want my bacon. But I, could tell, bacon. I could just tell by his face that he wanted me to give him his bag. But I'm like, you've had a chunk out of it. I don't want it now. <laughs> to be fair, we were dupes because on the actual label, the side of the, um, when they give it to you, it actually did say the thing we ordered. So it was why we did notice it until Falgo had a bite. Uh, but right. yeah, I was not swapping it back. But it was just—I got to admit—it was the sadness in his eyes, and he just watched me eat his burger. <laughs> it was my burger. <laughs> Did you bite into Falcon's burger at the point you wanted it back? No, no, it was no. That was, that was burger was stuff. okay. Yeah, uh, right. It was the, but it was the fact that Falcon had eaten a chunk out of mine. <laughs> I offered a bite of mine, but he said no. I'm going to eat it all. That'd be yeah. good bonding. Had you gone through with it? It was at the point where he offered to bring it, spit it back out. And... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I was like, Falcon, too far. <laughs> this has been one hell of an explicit podcast. <laughs> yeah, so I think it's been our worst. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, We're getting so... towards our, our natural selves now, aren't we? Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're getting more comfortable, aren't we, I think. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so I think but another good podcast. We do apologise for last week where we weren't here. Falcon had a lovely holiday, if anyone cared. <laughs> I don't think anyone does. No. <laughs> went, went up to the Peak District. Yeah. All the good sites. So now, so now went to Old Trafford. That's it, yeah. Because I'm a true fan. Team. Well, first I've been there 22 years, but anyway. <laughs> But yeah, so another good podcast. So thank you everyone to listen. If you listen to us on Spotify or Apple, thank you very much. If you listen to us on YouTube, why not like and subscribe? Because that will be absolutely wonderful. If you have access to Instagram or Twitter, follow us at, at Ready Steady Chat. And until next week, au revoir. <laughs>